Okay, folks, I'm in my attack room. This actually is a stall, and I use it as a, as, as a feed room because I like to be able to lock the door so that in the event the horse gets out of his stall for any reason, he can't come over here and founder himself or colic himself by eating all the feed he wants to eat. So it's, I measure it out. Real important, folks, is give your horse feed twice a day at the same 12 hour intervals. If you fed him this morning at eight, you feed him tonight at eight. If you fed him this morning at five, you feed him this afternoon at five. Give him time to digest his food. Don't make his meals too close together or too far apart. Now on the, the generic pellets, it has something that the others uh, uh, didn't have. It has dehydrated alfalfa. That's good. But I give him an additional amount of dehydrated alfalfa. What I do is I give him a quart of al a dehydrated alfalfa and I mix it with the feed. So he's got more uh, 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 amino, amino acids and such. And then I use uh, a gallon of feed and a gallon and a half when he's just moderately working. If he's working hard, then I give him two of these. And in addition to that, I use a mineral. Now you can use a 12-12 mineral. I use another mineral. And uh, that's very close to 12-12. 12-12 is okay too. Now this mineral, this mineral, I only use a two ounce scoop. And you just scoop it up like this and put that in one of his feedings in the morning or in the evening. This bag cost me $32 and it'll last that one horse a year. So it's very economical and yet at the same time, it gives him the amino acids and the electrolytes that he so valuably needs. And it's very, very, very economical. Then on the hay, I use very heavily fertilized, very fine stem, the coastal Bermuda hay found here in South Texas. One fleek of this in the morning, one fleek in the afternoon is all he needs. This hay cost me $6 a bale. The other hay cost $3 a bale. This hay, this whole bale here will last one horse a whole week, so it's less than a dollar a day. The, and it carries 15 to 17 percent protein, whereas the other one that's not fertilized, it, it carries maybe five or six grams of protein, if that much, if they cut it when it was very green. So as you can see, it pays more on the long run to pay three dollars a bale more to get four times as much protein and, and, and roughage as you do with the other. The other one is just really all just all roughage. It really has no nutritional value at all. And until next time, this is Al Ragazine saying, be comfortable and be safe on your horse and let him be comfortable and safe as well. Until next week, see ya.